Today on the Fire Escape, we're grilling up one of my favorite go-to sides that goes well with steak, chicken, pork chop, whatever you're grilling up. This is the go-to side of summer, and it's grilled squash and grilled zucchini. Here we have several different types of squash and zucchini. The first one is a yellow squash, a little bit bulbous on the end, curved toward the top. The next is your standard green zucchini. Now if these get too big, they get a little bitter, so you want them fairly small. The third one here is called a striped zucchini, appropriately named. Almost looks like a skinny little watermelon. And the last one here is called a gray squash or a gray zucchini. And all of these together, whether they're squash or zucchini, they're all in the summer squash family. So sometimes when you're at the farmer's market, you'll see them all grouped together labeled as summer squash. To get these ready for the grill, First thing you want to do is pop off the top and the bottom with your knife. And then you want to cut them into quarter inch strips lengthwise. That's about a half a centimeter for all you metric people out there. Thank you for watching outside of the United States. I appreciate it. And you got to be careful, of course, because they are round. They don't really sit on your cutting board properly. So you got to watch out. You don't cut your fingers here. And then what I like to do is cut them in half so that you've got these nice little easy to handle portions that'll go perfect on the grill. To season, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. A little bit of olive oil, some good coarse salt, either sea salt or kosher salt, and of course some fresh ground black pepper. You could use garlic powder too or some red pepper flakes, totally up to you. Then get your clean hands in there and mix them around. Get that seasoning all over and we're ready for the grill. Out here I've preheated the Weber Q to medium heat and I like to put these strips on at just a slight angle across the grate so I get some nice grill marks and once your grill is full just close the lid and after about three minutes they should be ready to flip just check on those grill marks looking pretty good we're going to flip them over. And apparently the bird in the background doesn't really care that I'm recording right now. Close the lid again and give them another two or three minutes. So our grill marks are looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and pull these inside and finish them off. with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Totally optional, but I think it's a great little touch right here at the end. And here we have our final dish, grilled squash and zucchini, sprinkled with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, made on a fire escape in Brooklyn, New York. So as you can see, it's a really pretty dish, but the proof is in the pudding. Let's give this thing a taste right here. I've got some of the regular zucchini. Mmm, man. It's so good. It's just begging for a, like a grilled ribeye right now. Fantastic, perfect side dish for any summertime grilling. Uh, so give this dish a try. And you know what, the Parmesan cheese is a really nice little touch at the end. Definitely give that a try too. Totally optional, but definitely give it a try. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling.